Okay, I'm starving. Let's see what I packed. <sighs> that looks delicious. Hey, Peach and Scouters, Justin here, and you've interrupted my healthy and nutritious lunch. But that's okay, because I'm so excited that you stopped over. It gives me a chance to show you my brand new handmade camp table. <sighs> I guess to show you the brand new handmade camp table, I'm going to have to put my lunch away for a little bit. But that's okay. I'll be back for you. Okay, let's clean up and get started. And there we go. And there we go. Okay. This is my brand new handmade camp table. Isn't it awesome? Last week, when we talked about lashings, I showed you one of my favorite lashings, the floor lashing. Do you recognize my brand new handmade camp table? That's right, it's a floor lashing. It can be used not only for making floors, but also for making brand new handmade camp tables. Today, I thought it might be fun for us to work on building our own brand new handmade camp table. So next time, when I come over to your campsite, I can sit down at yours. Okay, to start our floor lashing, we're going to use a process very similar to what we did to start our square lashing. Do you remember the square lashing? I sure hope you do. If not, I'm gonna pull out our handy dandy rope tying demonstration nomadic and the additional pole, which will turn it into the handy dandy lashing demonstration nomadic and show you what I'm talking about. So how did we start our square lashing? That's right, with a clove hitch. So let's get out some rope and tie our clove hitch. We're gonna come around the pole, around it a second time, see that X we made? Then we're gonna bring it around a third time, and on that third time, let's take our pinching fingers, pinch that X, and slide the tail right underneath it. Hold on. There we go. That's a perfect clove hitch. Now, what did we do next? That's right, we started our wrappings. For our wrappings on the square lashing, we took the other end of the rope and we brought it under and then over the horizontal pole. Then we took it behind the vertical pole, then back over the horizontal pole, then underneath, then we went around the vertical pole and we started all over again. There we go. That's a perfect beginning to a square lashing. The reason I bring this up is because for our floor lashing, we're going to use this same process over and over and over again to help hold our lashing together. Okay, let's move on. The floor lashing is one of the more difficult lashings you'll use in scouting, but that's no reason not to try it today. Because it also takes quite some time to make, I've started in advance. I've done one side. We're going to work on the other side. Let's get out the handy dandy log that we lift things with and let's get out one half of a floor lashing. Okay, we're going to work on finishing the other half of the floor lashing. So let's take our second pole and place it underneath. There we go. That's starting to look like a floor already. Okay, to begin, Let's tie, that's right, a clove hitch. We've got our rope. Let's begin with our clove hitch at the top of the lashing. Let's go around the pole, then around again, making that X. Now around a third time. Then right here, let's take our pinching fingers, pinch the X and slide this end right underneath it. There we go, that's a perfect clove hitch. Now, let's begin that weaving process that's very similar to the square lashing, okay? And there we go. So what we're gonna do, let's slide our clove hitch down so it's closer to the pieces. And there we go. Perfect. Now, let's take the rest of our rope and begin that same weaving process from the square lashing. Let's go over top of this pole then around the back, bring it straight up. Let's come over top of that pole again. Then let's go underneath. That looks exactly like our square lashing. Okay, now we're gonna continue doing that around each pole in the floor lashing. So we've done it once. Now let's come over, under, 
over, down through, and behind. There we go. We've done two. Let's keep going. We have a few more. Again, keep watching. I'm going over, under, pulling the rope up. Then I'm going over and under. Do you see what I'm doing? I hope you do. Do you think that you can work on this at home? Like I said, this is one of the more tricky lashings that you'll work on, but there's no reason that with some practice, you can't become an expert. Just like everything in scouting, it takes lots of practice to become an expert, but I know you guys can do it. Almost done, three left. Okay, over, under, over, and under. One of the benefits of this lashing is you get to practice these parts so many times because there's so many poles to go over. So sometimes, even just completing it once, you've got to practice it how many times? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You've practiced it 14 times. It's like you've made 14 floor lashings. <sighs> You'll be experts in no time. Okay, last one. Over, under, over, and under. Perfect. Now let's pull it really, really tight. Now, to finish it off, let's tie a clothesfish. Let's go around and around a second time, and then on the third time, using those pinching fingers, let's pinch the X and slide it right underneath. Sometimes it's very tricky at this point because we're very short on rope, but that's okay. We'll get it. And perfect. There we go. That is a perfect floor lashing. I'm so glad that you guys stopped over today and learned the floor lashing with me because when I come over to your house and we eat dinner together around your campsite, I'm going to be looking for your brand new homemade camp table. Okay, I've had a lot of fun today, but I have a s'more waiting for me. So for the next 30 days while you're stuck at home, remember, stay safe and stay scouting.